uh, gone for a few combinations to get them together and also uh, a little bit of experience in there and what we think for this weekend, what we needed for this weekend, especially with a bit of wet weather coming. Rico was out last week, now he's in this week. What yep. are you thinking behind that? Oh, he's had a great few weeks. Uh, it's his opportunity. It's his opportunity. Uh, look, he's had some great performances beside uh, Geordie Barrett there and now there's an opportunity to have another crack. Not too sure what plans been for this week or on mm. regards coaching, but obviously a new group of coaches comes in, you want to stamp the mark on the team, quite yeah. rightly. Is there a fear that you can overcoach? Oh, I think you ask that question yourself all day. The, the ability to coach simply is probably the first thing in our, in our minds. Uh, look, we learned a lot last weekend, we all did, and just got to learn quick and, and then go and put it into action. So that's been our focus. Yeah. Just experience. Uh, look, he's been exceptional in our group and we think it's going to be important at the back end of the game. Where do you need to see the big shift, Scott? Uh, well, we're creating enough moment. Ethan De Groot uh, earlier this week. Yeah. So, yep, he was started, he was going to, was going to start, but he's, uh, Obviously, Tamori comes in now. So you've made just the one injury and force change to your pack and after a test where um, they were probably bested by the opposition. Uh, do you like yeah. a challenge at their feet to Yeah, respond? it is. I think every will be full pack after a result like that. Uh, gets a chance for, for a bit of redemption and another opportunity. And you know, they've owned it. We all have. And you know it's great, great to move forward now. We'll have, we looked at it and then Thought, here we go, Eden Park. Let's get into it. The other takeaway from the weekend was the amount of time you're spending at the wrong end of the Yeah. How much of a focus has that been? Yeah, look, uh, getting out of our, our back fence has really been important to us. Uh, it was really clear from the weekend, and we put <coughs> enough time into it this week. Near the end of on the C-Mac and... Um, oh, it's everyone's, it's everyone's, everyone's got a role to play, especially when you, you know, You've got to exit well or get out of your own area. Everyone's got to be really clear on what we're doing and how we do it. Yeah. Near the end of the game last week, there was yeah. some confusion around the line out and what have you. How do you, and yes, the Pumas were putting pressure on, yeah. how do you clear up that confusion? Oh, look, the Pumas are good. We, just, it's just simple like most things, it's communication and one call, there was a late call and um, someone missed it. So we've worked on that, making sure that everyone understands the call and, and then go and execute it this week. Did the late call come? Oh no, oh, we won't go into all the details on it, but it was a late call. Mm. Yeah. Scott, you, Scott, you picked um, Will Jordan on the right yeah. wing. You've said previously you see him as a fullback who can cover wing. Just what's your thinking around, is this an easy and back kind of process, or what's your thinking around this? Oh, look, just we believe uh, you know, his skill set's perfect for, for this combination. Obviously, Bones playing really good footy. They've worked together closely uh, and you know, good voice. Uh, they execute really well together, so just the experience we felt was best for this weekend. In terms of both your wings uh, mm. being dropped from Wellington, is that, um, is that something you've seen or is it just giving opportunity for the likes of Caleb and Will? Uh, my job's to, to build for cohesion or see what's right for this team. Like he's a power wing, Caleb can he carry the ball and Dent a line and he's good in the, in the air, so we just think those two will complicate, um, complement each other this weekend. Was it hard to leave Anton uh, Len Brown out after yeah. last week's performance? I was, yeah, look, uh, got two good centres, uh, it's a great competition, and you know, it's Rico's opportunity. Do you have an attempt were you to make a change to half back, or is this not the type of game when you try yeah. to win? Yeah, uh, you've got a question. Uh, look, you know, TJ can play. Uh, opportunity to go again this weekend and uh, lead the team in the nine jersey we've got a good combination with Cortez going so they'll work well together again this weekend. After that loss how motivated are the players for this weekend's game? Uh, the energy's quickly focused from the learnings to, to getting on on the field it's the best way to um, show how, it, how much it means. Yeah, there's always a lot of hunger. Um, you know, Eden Park's a great place. Um, something we really respect and 
you know, were respected on Saturday night. So what would it mean to this team to notch 50 unbeaten? To what? To notch 50 tests unbeaten at Eden Park, what would that mean to this club? Oh, it would mean a lot. Uh, it would mean a lot, yeah. So there was a lot of talk from the players about being more direct this weekend. Um, from, a, from a ball carrying perspective from the pack, are you, are you getting what you need there? Uh, yep, yeah, we talk about the directness, the ability to carry, to get us go, go forward when we do it, do it really well, don't we? And we just need to see more of it. So, yeah. Scott, do you have an idea of how long Ethan might be, Ethan's group might be out for? Is it a minor injury? Or? Uh, yeah, a couple of weeks. Scott, what has stood out in other ways? Sam sort of, you know, adapted to now being just a player. Team, team. team. And, you know, there's not most guys in the sort of captain's there that will play it again after yeah. that point. Has he sort of taken well to that sort of different role? Uh, yeah, look, because he's so experienced and he's got the ability to play a couple of positions and he knows what these big test matches are about. He's, his influence on the group, his, his uh, little bit of gold, uh, just at the timing of uh, the information, how it's delivered, his tone is pretty special. So another opportunity for him in the black jersey. What's this week been like for you? You haven't had many weeks yourself where you've come off a loss as big as that one last Saturday. What's it been like for you sort of having that experience? Oh, just clear focus to get today right and game day. Uh, that, that's um, and really good energy for the group. And make sure we uh, in the right place when we need to be and keep everyone on. How important is Sam Kane's voice this week, given what happened yeah. last week? Oh, really important. You know, to come on and, and, and finish. Uh, his, as I said, all his experience that he's that he's he's got in the black jersey is uh, is timely. That he comes on the bench for us. Mm. Was there a lack of calm out there um, towards the end last week? Do you think, Swan? Do you think that's something that Sam will bring to the uh, team? Yeah, I think calmness is something Sam's got in his, his, his game. Great messages at the right time. How close was Luke to being fit? Uh, he's probably another week away. Yeah. Are you expecting much different from the Pumas, or do you think they'll try and replicate the, oh, what they did last week? Oh, I think a bit of both, actually. They're, they're, they're quite innovative. Um, Felipe's a smart coach. Uh, well, you know, I'm not sure. I think they roll out what they did last week. They'll, they'll be a step ahead on that stuff. So we've, we've considered that as well. They breach you in the backs a bit more yeah. than they have previously. Was that sort of a new, a new kind of style and um, approach from you? What part of the game was that? Uh, uh, through midfield, or off a short ball from Matera. A few times. Oh, the right? turnover. Yeah, there was that turnover option, and yeah, we looked at and considered all those things. Yeah, and you know, people have. Yeah, we learn quick. We have to, don't we? How much did you think the season that Pablo Matera spent over here has improved him as a player? Uh, under, your, under your coaching? Pablo, oh, he was a massive, wasn't he? You've got you to give him a little uh, golf clap on that. He was, he was superb. Uh, Captain C, oh, look, he's just so passionate. Uh, he was, and, and in that game, he, was, he lived every moment. Uh, we learned a lot from him and how he, how he performed and uh, look he's an international quality level player and yeah, yeah good, good for him. <laughs> That's a good point, Jeez, you think deeply about these questions don't you? Um, yeah look, as I said the other week got a good relationship but now we're, we're playing test footy so it's another week isn't it? There were quite a few stoppages in the game. Yeah. How do you rectify that, or how do you make sure that's kept on top of um, That's role of the ref, and also a bit of man management with, uh, with the captain, checking in and what's next, and have we had time, and they've got shot clocks and stuff, so uh, it's a good point, you know, hopefully uh, I've got a spare pair of boots on the sideline. <laughs> just, just, yeah. just in terms of the end of games, we saw in July, um, are you looking for someone? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I, someone's waving out, excuse me. <laughs> um, sorry, in July we saw, you know, Bowden obviously came with the best man, Pat Rowan's, you know, now starting for that. How much consideration has there been to with Bowden? keeping him in that sort of bench role? Yeah, a, a bit of both. Uh, look, he's playing good footy. Uh, he's in form and, you know, the experience that he brings is really, invaluable, really valuable for us, so... In these first five tests, you know, he's played his role. Doesn't mean it's always going to be like this. You, you've got to have versatility and utility and 
and your team. So it, it's what required this weekend. Cool. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, a lot of hard work's gone in to get to get back to this stage. Um, so, yeah, pretty. It was pretty nervous for the team naming, um, and and really stoked to be able to drag a spot on the bench. Um, and hope, look forward to getting out there. Did you think this might not happen? Um, no, I suppose I don't know if I. Just hearing you ask that question, I don't think I really like thought that too far ahead like, and, and thought of worst case scenario. I sort of always believed that um, I would get back and that I had plenty to offer, um, still back like, my ability um, and just like through, through rehab and coming back from, a, from surgery, you always you, you get really zoned. You have to, from my experience, like, don't think of the end result because it seems so far away at times. Um, just often it would be about getting through that training week and finishing the week at a better place than you started and then often reset and sometimes just literally do the same week again and try and do it a bit better. Yeah. How do you balance out how do you balance out not being captain but still being quite a voice in this team? How, how does that work? Yeah, I think um, having been in since um, you know, from the from the start, even though having not been named in that that first um, team uh, has allowed me to sort of um, get a feel for where I can contribute and how I can fit in um, from a leadership point of view and how I can help um, and certainly like now the last week and this week um, feel a lot more comfortable and um, I suppose at the start you're just conscious you don't want to be stepping on those boys toes um, and but want them to lead the best that they can and just support them um, the best I can. Yeah, and absolutely, and and um, I think like the good part is uh, like with, between Artie and Scooter, um, Geordie and Cody, vice captains this weekend. Like we've all played a lot of rugby together, so we've, it's not like um, we don't have the off-field relationship. So um, it's it's, been, it's worked out well. Sam, you've been through these situations, you know, off and off, and just bouncing back so many times. What's the key? in your experience to getting it right, to getting that equation, that formula right for a bounce back? Yeah, very good question. Um, my experience is not like, trying to focus on all the, you know, because you'll look at a loss and think, man, there's so many things we could improve, but just nailing the couple of big rocks that are going to make the biggest difference and then going out there with a mindset and attitude of really taking the game to them, particularly for an all-back full pack. Um, yeah, um, obviously it was um, it was tough to to watch the boys go down. Um, also, like even though you're not playing, like the boys who are part of the squad put a lot into the training week as well, and try and pride ourselves on preparing the team the best we can. So. Um, Look, I think that uh, the coaches have talked like the some of the finer details that we've spoken about in review, um, but ultimately uh, we sort of didn't we apply pressure through points and then ease it off. You know, like if you look at the scoreboard, it was a real ding dong battle, um, and we didn't really manage to stack stack good moments on good moments, which ultimately applies more pressure. And um, so, yeah, a lot of that comes down to some of the exit. Some of the exits, um, some of the skill execution. Um, so, as always, there are so, areas to improve on. Sorry, no, that's right. Can you just clarify how much rugby you've actually played in the last wee while? Uh, two 80 minute games and a 60. So, do the maths, what's that? 240, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think um, 
Yeah, I mean, there's definitely not as much uh, mental load, I suppose, would be the, the biggest thing about not being skipper. But at the same time, like, I still like, greatly care about the team and how we're going. So, like, my mind, that's sort of how my mind works in a, a little way too, like, looking at and thinking of things. And it's sort of been programmed that way for a few years now. So, um, yeah, certainly not the, the same mental load. Um, and, look, my, my focus will just be really to come on and do my job the best I can. Sam, are you glad to have the chance to write a new ending on the back jersey? Yeah, well, I never really thought about it as the, as the last chapter, or the last page, um, the last one. So, yeah, I've been r around long enough to, you know, r really, um, I suppose, not, like, not take any test match for granted. And, and as I said, like, probably this one will be pretty sweet running out um, or running, coming off the bench knowing um, the amount of work that's gone in to, to get back here. I mean, my last professional game was, was back in January. So, um, yeah, excited for the opportunity. How did you actually find out you were in the team? Is that just a team meeting or did you Yeah, like team naming, yeah. What about the physicality, Sam, I guess, coming on, the excitement around getting those first couple of hits in, is that something you're really, I guess, gritting your teeth for, getting pumped for? Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying um, some of the defence philosophies that Scott Hansen's installing, and we obviously don't have it. Um, it's not the finished product yet, um, but, yeah. Argentinians, they, they like to run hard and um, you know, we'll be looking to, to bring our own physicality and, and hopefully I can contribute there. So um, after the last two defeats to Argentina, obviously the response from the All Blacks was an emphatic win. Why do you think that was the case? Oh, like lessons learnt from the game and, and how they played and um, what we didn't do well and could do better. Um, the biggest I suppose a, a risk here is like there can't be any assumptions that that's just going to be the case again. It doesn't just happen. Um, make, make, I mean, working hard to make sure lessons are learnt um, during the week and that's reflected in how we've been training and hopefully we can go out there and, and put it out there. Just on the Eden Park record, I know we've obviously spoken about it a lot over the years in general, but why do you think it has always been such a stronghold for the All Blacks over the years? Yeah, look, you, I really don't know the answer to that. It certainly probably feels like our, like, although we don't have a base here in New Zealand, um, it certainly probably feels like our, our spiritual home as the All Blacks. Um, we always get awesome support, as we do all around the country, to be fair, but, um, yeah, I can't pinpoint why, but don't want to be the ones in, involved in being on the wrong side of that, yeah. It's been a fairly crazy 10 months in the life of Sam Kane. Exciting with these next few days. Yeah, it has been. Um, yeah, me and my wife have talked about like the, the, the recently and what's to come the next sort of six or so months, and we just accepted that it's it's this is how life is at the moment. We're just taking it sort of step by step, but um, oh, just just yeah, just really excited and, and grateful for the opportunity. Sort of feels like um, you know you really have to earn your spot um, as it should be, and. Um, yeah, just looking forward to, to doing my role. Sam, are you, are you for, um, uh, looking to cover six and seven from the bench, or is it um, purely a seven focus? Uh, no, I'll cover seven and eight. So if Artie was to go off, then you know, I'd slot into eight. And they were club, was it one yeah. club game and a couple of NPC, or what sort of sort of uh, thing? Two club games and one NPC. Bay Plenty just hit the one because they got storm week to start. Two wins for the Bay, yeah. two from two. They're on fire. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam.